hello everyone today in this video i will tell you the details of respiration in children i have already uploaded other three vitals now this is the fourth vital so in this we have to calculate the respiratory rate for full one minute then we have to check the type rhythm and the depth of the breathing then we have to check any signs of respiratory distress are present or not then uh, we have to uh, check for the any audible adventitious sound is present or not so for first respiratory rate we have to calculate the respiratory rate for full one minute we have to remove the cloth from the chest and for full one minute chest rise should be calculated and this is the respiratory rate now we label the normal respiratory rate in newborn between 40 to 60 in infant 30 to 40 in 1 to 5 year age group 20 to 30 and more than 5 years age group 15 to 20 breaths per minute we label the tachypnea when respiratory rate in less than 2 months age group more than 60 2 months to 1 year more than 50 1 to 5 years more than 40 and more than 5 years age group more than 30 breaths per minute will be tachypnea we label the bradypnea when the respiratory rate is lower than the expected example in newborn less than 30 is the bradypnea we label the apnea when cessation of the breath for at least 20 seconds or if the cessation of the breath for less than 20 seconds with bradycardia and cyanosis we label the apnea now the type of the respiration normally it is abdominal or abdominal thoracic in infant and after infancy it become thoraco abdominal in female child and abdominal thoracic in male child now the third is rhythm of the breathing normal rhythm is inspiration followed by the expiration it is followed by the pose and inspiration is longer than the expiration we label the reverse rhythm when expiration with grunting sound and it is followed by the inspiration and inspiration followed by the pose so whenever there is a pose between inspiration and expiration we label as a reverse rhythm other abnormal rhythms example chinese strokes breathing biots breathing paradoxical breathing so in chinese stroke breathing patient will have the gradual hyperapnea then it is followed by hypoapnea then the patient will have the apnea pose of the breathing will be there again there will be a gradual hyperapnea while in the biots breathing patient will have the hyperapnea then there will be a pause in the breathing apnea then again the patient will have the hyperapnea so uh, biots breathing and chinese stroke breathing seen in the cns lesion whenever there is a raised ict or cerebral edema is present we label the paradoxical breathing normally in the breathing uh, outward movement of the abdomen and chest occur while in the paratoxical breathing inward movement of the chest during the inspiration occurs so you can see in this video the chest inward movement of the chest are present during the inspiration now the fourth is we have to check the depth of the breathing is it normal or shallow breathing or the deep breathing so uh, shallow breathing is generally seen whenever patient is having the cns lesion raised ict is there example due to the intracranial hemorrhage due to the birth asphyxia due to cerebral edema or due to any other condition which are leading to the raised ict example pyomeningitis so in which shallow breathing will be there while the deep breathing is seen in the metabolic acidosis so in this video you can see the kusmal breathing it is uh, seen in the diabetic ketoacidosis and also in the metabolic acidosis due to inborn error of metabolism due to dehydration now we have to check the signs of respiratory distress so uh, in this elanagi flaring head bobbing suprasternal retraction tracheal tug external retraction intercostal retraction subcostal retraction all these should be checked so in this video you can see the child is having elanagi flaring head bobbing with the every uh, respiratory uh, movement inspiration and also having subcostal in this video you can see the child is having the tracheal tug inward movement of the trachea during the inspiration and supra external retraction are also there so in this child also patient is having the uh, laryngomalacia and in this uh, video you can see the child is having LR nasal flaring external retraction and the intercostal retraction so all these are the signs and in this you can see the subcostal retraction 
and in this video child is having suprasternal intercostal and subcostal retraction now you have to uh, see the adventitious audible sounds which can be snoring or a stutter strider grunting or wheezing sound so in this video you can uh, see the child is having the strider sound so it is because of the involvement of the larynx and the trachea and main bronchus strider sound can be seen and in this video you can see the child is having the severe grunting sound because of the suffering from respiratory distress syndrome so this is all about the respiration in children thank you so much